let's take a look at user interfaces and go through this screen that you see in front of you as an example of a user interface. Now, what you're likely to be doing right now, and it's hard, it's hard to stop yourself from doing this, is looking at the content of the page. Oh, who are his friends? What kind of ads does he have? Can I learn anything about my teacher through looking at all of those, um, all of those impulses? I want you to squelch, and I want you to instead to imagine that you're at a control panel. That you're sitting at the, you're sitting looking at the dashboard of your car, for example, or even better, you're sitting at the dashboard of some uh, rocket ship, and this thing in front of you is not Facebook. This thing in front of you is a control panel with various controls that allow you to do various things. If it was a car, it would allow you to stop, go, um, turn, that kind of thing. If it was a rocket ship, it would allow you to set your coordinates, you know, turn the engines on, whatever. This is a machine as well. This machine has a user interface. And that user interface allows you to do various things. Okay, so don't look at the content. Try not to see what's on the page. Instead, see what it's allowing you to do. All right, so that's the architect view that we're going to take.